about this, man. We was dead last in Division One football, and now um, we able to do things that nobody thought we could do. Nobody thought I could get a number one recruiting class after three years at Campbell University in Bowie's Creek. Nobody thought that. Okay, and I'm getting them from everywhere. I'm getting them from the hood in Detroit. I'm getting them from the hood in Florida, right? I'm getting them in Miami, the Tampa, the Orlando, the Jacksonville, okay? I'm going in the hood of Atlanta, and I'm bringing my people to Campbell University to play. Come on, man. Who, who thought that was possible? And, and, and now you, you get an HBCU powerhouse versus an up-and-coming PWI. And you got two black head coaches coaching. And not only that, you got two coaches that play in the league. Um, now, Dion is Mount Rushmore. <laughs> trust, trust me when I tell you that, right? He's number one on Mount Rushmore when it comes to defensive players. And I was a DB, so he's, a, he's the godfather of the DBs, man. Everybody know Prime is the godfather of the DBs. So that's big bro. And, and, and we get a chance to bring that together and show the world how we doing it from two different angles. But it's still success. And man, that's what it's all about. I knew that it was gonna happen two years ago. I, this this is not something just because it's game or it got scheduled. Right. I knew two years ago, I told my AD, we gotta get this game. Because I saw the significance of what he could bring, just what you just said, right? I know what he's gonna do, okay? He's the greatest of, I, I call him the greatest athlete because it's uh, all time. Because who who go be an all star in baseball and then go be a freaking uh, pro bowler in in football? Man, no, nobody do that stuff, right? Play one game, you know, during the day and then go play another one that night. Nobody does that. Um, and and so I know he's going to come and change where wherever he goes, right? So so he go to Jackson State. Jackson State is the you know beneficiary of Greatness. I'm bringing it. That's what he does, right? Okay, so I know that right away. I know what we doing over here. I said, oh man, what what better way to make this happen um, than to? And then it just so happened that two years later we, you know, number one and number two recruiting class in FCS. So now, man, people say, hey, that might be a pretty good game, right? And then the, the simple fact that Dion was able to see, um, I believe that he was able to see, um, you got another alum out there doing the same thing. Let's bring some light to what they're doing too, right? That's who he is, man. He, he, he's, a, he's a light bearer. And, and, um, and so this is what he's doing. Everybody now in the black community is going to know Campbell University after this game. And, and so what, what, are we, what are we talking, right? I mean that's 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 a beautiful thing. He saw it, I saw it, and you know, thank God we were able to put it together. We just got to be who we are. We're not concerned about sixty thousand uh, fans, um, even though it's gonna be fun. Okay, come on now. Um, now I played in Super Bowls. I played you know in national championship games. Um, so, but I've never played in a stadium with sixty thousand black people. I'm looking forward to that. That's, that's what gets me excited. It's not 60,000 people because we play ECU and it, it, I can promise you it's not going to be louder than that, okay? Um, and so I we know what that feels like as far as us is concerned, right? We played at Wake Forest. We didn't play at Liberty. We didn't play where, where you got a lot of people screaming and being loud the whole game. But, man, it's an honor to be able to go and play with. 60,000 black people because um, I've never done it and I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get there to see it because I've always heard about it. Now I'm from Oklahoma so it's not many HBCUs in Oklahoma okay and so we, we didn't grow up with that so when I when I got drafted by the Carolina Panthers and I get here in 97 and and I start to learn my history through the through um, HBCUs because they all in this area, and, and and all of a sudden I'm like, oh man, I didn't even know about this. So imagine people in the Middle East, I mean um, the Midwest, do not know about HBCUs like this. Okay, um, the West Coast, 
don't know about HBCUs like this. And and I think we get a chance to share some shine some light because there's people gonna be watching that's from Nebraska, Oklahoma, my area, right? It's gonna be people that's watching from the West Coast with Dion, it's global, right? It's gonna be people all over the place watching this. And so um, we, we, we're excited for that, right? Uh, but when it comes down to this football team, um, we're going to be who we are. We're going to do what we do, and we're going to be confident in that because we know what we can do, And um, even though nobody else knows. I think um, Shador is, is the real deal. I think he should win the Heisman. Um, the guy can make it happen. If I have, you know, when you have a quarterback like that, you put it in his hand and let him do <laughs> what he do. And and so um, you, you, you have to be able to stop him. I think he's the heart and soul of the offense. And he makes everything go. And, um, you know, when you're playing a, a football game, you got to stop the best thing that, that the other opponent has. <laughs> and, and that's what they have as far as their offense is concerned. They got speed at wide receiver, everybody knows that. They got guys that can run, catch, but we got guys that can run and cover. And so that's going to be a fun matchup. Uh, we got a defensive line that can get out to the best of them. And they got a, you know, revamped offensive line that they feel like can block and protect number two, okay? So whoever wins that battle is going to win the game, okay? Because we get the number two, then it doesn't matter, <laughs> you know? If they can protect number two, he can get the ball to his players, then it doesn't matter. So I think it comes down to that. It comes down to the, to the front. Um, they're, and, and then now let's talk the other side, their defensive line. They, they look. This was they did the 85 Bears as far as how they attack people. They are bringing everybody and their mama, putting them on the line, and they coming, <laughs> okay? And they saying, beat our DBs one on one. If your quarterback still standing up, okay? It's it's like uh, you know, Secretary said, it's about the quarterback. Get the quarterback right, and that's what they do, man. They they say we're gonna come get the quarterback. We're going to teach these DBs great technique um, so they can um, play man to man. And um, let's, let's see what happens. And so uh, I think on that end, can we protect our quarterback? Because our quarterback's special too. And so if we can uh, protect ours, then they're going to be in trouble. If we can't, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> so it's going to come down to the to the line. Well, I'm going I'm to be the judge of both of them. So so I'm going to tell you guys which one wins, okay? <laughs> uh, We're coming I, back for you for that. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I promise you, y'all come back and I'll tell you. Uh, man, you know what? That one counts. So so that's, that's a conference game. Um, th this one does not count. This is more like a bowl game type thing that we that we got going on this week, and um, but next week it's a conference game, so it's more on the line, and, um, and and so you know at the end of the day that's all we concerned about. Uh, it's, it's, and you you already seen one, so so it's not going to be a shock. Number number the one that count that that's the second one. So so we didn't see one. Now we good, and now we're coming into another one. And we'll be more relaxed. We'll be more, um, you know, custom to what we're gonna see. And that's why I did it that way. You know, and, and so you know, thank God that I, I get a chance to go see one homecoming that don't count. So I get a, you know, a, a practice try, and then and then now we get to the real. One. I'm happy, me and Dion. I get a chance to go into a living room and we instead of Alabama and and. Uh, um, you know, Ohio State fighting for a kid. Man, it's, it's Dion and Coach Mint um, sitting over here fighting um, for a kid to come play at their spot. A win-win. Come on, man, win-win. It's, it's, it's enough for all of us to eat. And that's the mindset that we, we got to have. We got to have the mindset of it's, it's plenty. It's not either or, it's both and. I think DBs always are the coach on the field anyway, right? They say linebackers are, but at the end of the day, I think it's the safeties that um, naturally um, see everything, um, is connected to everything. Um, and, and I think, you know, because of what you have to do and the, the thinking part of it um, naturally fits you in to be, um, 
you know, someone who can coach, right? And the, the other thing is, most of the time, a team is only going to go as far as a secondary takes it. Mm -hmm. So now you're a motivator too. So you're just not the leader um, of the defense, you're also the, the motivator that keeps people going and keeps people connected to the culture that the coach is trying to build. And so all these things are, are natural fits um, to become you know, someone who, who's gonna coach. See, it's about people with me, it's not about places. Mm -hmm. We'll make the place as long as I got the right people. And um, and so that that was the deal with with uh, with Mr. Roller, man. It was it was a connection to him. Mm -hmm. And then when I got to meet everybody else at Campbell, mm -hmm. all right, it, it's the people. I'm like, okay, the president gets it, the AD gets it. Um, they know where we at, and they know where I want to go, and they're willing to help me get there, mm -hmm. right? And then you start looking at the cabinet, you start looking at the VPs. And then you start looking at support, and you like, yeah, we can do this, okay? So when I got here, there was nothing here, okay? And we were, um, I mean, basically you had a field, and you had you know, three little bleachers, and, and that was it. And, and, and so, um, but I saw right away when I got on campus. We was dead last in Division One football, okay? We was like one in 10, I think they were one in 10 at the time and dead last. I always wanted to take on the worst program in the country. I always wanted to do that. I don't know why, but I just wanted to do that. And, and so, um, you know, I took it on. Now, I didn't think it would take me 10 years to get to where we at today, okay? Uh, we were non-scholarship, so we had no scholarships when I got here. Um, so now you got to build a program and you got to build the excitement around the program to even go to scholarship. So we got to do that first, right? And so we did that. And so we would get support. We start building the stadium and we, you know, all these things. And, and in five years it took us to, to get to say yes about scholarships, right? Um, and then um, the first year you can't count because you decide to go get scholarships um, in December. So you know you're not getting a recruiting class with that one. Um, and then the next year, it was 2019, was really your first year of getting out there, but nobody know you. You've been out of scholarship. So you gotta go tell people you got money. <laughs> I got some money for you, right? But nobody wanna pay attention. So that's 2019. 2020 is COVID. But what did I do in 2020? I put us on TV. And that's what got us the recognition to now get that recruiting class that we got in 21 and 22 and now in 23, okay? Uh, we went and played four FBS teams and, and uh, we were the only one on TV at the time playing. <laughs> and, um, and so it introduced us to the world. The, the first thing parents wanna know, and especially mamas, I'm gonna take care of my baby? That's what they wanna know, right? So if you can paint the picture of how I'm gonna take care of your son, you're gonna get him. So what I get, it, get them here, get them here, get them around the environment of, of the culture. What they will realize is A1, number one, their son is number one in our life, okay? And it's about unlocking his greatness. That's what we tell them, mm -hmm. okay? Whatever that takes, we're going to do that. And we're going to do it at a high level. So, so then what, what, what does that mean? Then the program got to be there. So the number one thing that we have, we have a sports psychologist. Nobody in the FCS got a sports psychologist. They got a sports psychologist on campus, but not just for the football team, right? You got that at Alabama. You got that at Michigan. You got that at Nebraska. But you don't have it at the FCS program. But we have that that's dedicated 100% to the football program that I brought to the table, right? Because I know what kids are dealing with today. I got four of them. Uh, so, so I understand the psychological warfare that's going on inside the head. And so we got to be able to attend to that. So that's our number one. She lives with us. She, she it's every, every day. She travels with us. She's speaking to the um, guys all the time. So it becomes mom when I'm away from home, right? From the mind standpoint, then you got to talk about the physical standpoint, right? 
Um, and so you start to build a physical side. So you got to have a strength and conditioning program. So we build this nice, great, big weight room, and then we start to get the right strength coach, and, and now we're building the body. So you got to be able to do that. Nutrition is another piece of that. They got to be eating right. You got to be able to feed them. And so you show mama how I'm going to feed your baby when, she, when they come, come here. Then mama say, okay, I like that. Now, what is the ribbon, the bowl that goes around? Education. Everybody wants the education. Now, you get a degree from Campbell University. So this is not any, you know, um, degree that's out there. It's from Campbell University. Oh, man, this is beautiful. So why wouldn't I want my son to be part of that? And then we also talk about their future. We say, look. We're going to get you to the NFL if you're that type of guy. We're going to develop you to be that type of guy. You're going to be a professional and then go into the National Football League and make a career out of it. We know how to do that. Why? I got other dudes that played on the league too on the staff, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just not me. It's, it's everybody, okay? So mom and dad begin to see the picture that's being painted for their baby. And so they like, well, yeah, well, they, I gotta bring them to you, <laughs> and um, and so I let them know. At the end of the day, if Johnny can't play for me, I'm still gonna get his education. I'm still gonna pay for his education, no matter what. Okay, if it takes Johnny seven years to get his degree, I'm gonna pay for his education to get his degree because some kids don't figure it out in four, some kids don't figure it out in five, some mm -hmm. kids need seven. And uh, we're going to be there to be able to make sure that Johnny get it no matter what. Y'all, it's game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering. All your worries disappearing. Y'all, it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming. No more waiting, no more dreaming. Y'all, it's game day.